Boeing Starliner astronauts are now stuck in space after another delay. NASA is pushing back its return to Earth from the International Space Station after several previous postponements. The spacecraft was supposed to head back tomorrow, but NASA wants to do more checks following helium leaks and the failure of some maneuvering thrusters as it approached the space station earlier this month. So joining me now with uh, more on this and what it all means for the crew that's stuck up there is uh, CBS News uh, News' Mark Schnossman. So listen, Mark, these helium leaks, this was an issue on the way up. <laughs> they just decided, eh, it's not that bad, we can live with it. Now what's happening? Well, it was an issue on the way up. But then it got worse. There was one leak on the way up. Then now there were five, and then they developed some leaks with the uh, with these um, maneuvering uh, engines uh, or thrusters um, in the service module, which sits right underneath the uh, Starliner capsule. And so all of a sudden, you've got uh, an accumulation of issues and you want to try to figure out what exactly is going on here. Remember, the service module is discarded before Starliner returns to Earth. It burns up in the atmosphere. So the only opportunity you have to take to check it out and figure out what is going on here, how significant is it, how do we prevent it, prevent it in the future, is to examine it while you're in space. So that's mm -hmm. what they're doing. They're taking a hard look at it. This is a test flight. They want to make sure that everything that they can learn about what has gone wrong here will, uh, uh, will be learned. And so they're, they've made the decision they're going to stay up just a little bit longer and try to figure this out before the crew uh, comes back. So we're talking about some of the best and the brightest between NASA and, and Boeing. I would expect no that there was already kind of a plan uh, in place for all the possible things that could go wrong. But, I mean, what does this delay mean? How long can those astronauts stay up there? Well, that's that's a very good question. Um, from from what NASA is saying, the the the. Starliner could continue to stay up at the space station for at least another month mm. uh, and that the crew would not come home at least until sometime in July next month, which is about a week away. But they haven't set an actual date. Uh, but we, they do have some time still to play with. Right. But the issue becomes at some point, OK, uh, are, are we going to get this? Are we going to get this uh, resolved? Are we going to come to a, a complete understanding of what it is that has happened here? Uh, and, and that's and that's a little bit unclear. Uh, for now, though, and I think this is important. Uh, for now, that this is not considered a crisis uh, within NASA. Our CBS space team is making calls to various people on the inside. There is no Plan B uh, right now, for instance, to go up and rescue. Uh, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, the two astronauts. And so at this point, it's it's a concern, but it is not a crisis. All right. That, that's good to know. And yeah, a little extra time on the space station is not so bad. Mark, thank you very much. You bet.